Yeah, of course, it's a very big issue, and particularly this year, as a year of family farming, uh, we thought it's a big issue that we need to, to make, make known, particularly to our politicians who take decisions on food. And so CICOT has been engaged in, in work of other civil society. For example, CICOT is a member of the Alliance for Food Sovereignty in Africa, which is a bigger continental civil society network of about 58 um, organizations all over Africa who are members of it. And, and, and we are looking at it at the continental or at the AU level. How do we change the, the agricultural policies at that level to reflect or to support or have policies that support family farming as against the, the so-called uh, agribusiness that is being pushed on us. In Ghana, we also work with other civil society organizations. For example, we work with the, the uh, Peasant Farmers Association, which is a big association of all the small farmers in Ghana, to, 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 to look at their own farming system. And most of them are family farmers. How do we get the Parliament of Ghana to pass policies that are supportive of the peasant farmers as against policies that are supporting agribusiness, the so-called modernization of agriculture, which is the policy, the national policy that they are pushing now, which is actually works against the interests of the small farmers. So we need to get Ghanaians to understand what's going on. And so our, 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 our preoccupation has been how to give the right information out. But the kind of information we we'll get from the Ministry of Agriculture from Parliament is only about modernizing agriculture which goes against what people are doing on the ground. So we've had inter television interviews. I personally have had several te television interviews where I try to explain why Ghana needs to promote family farming, for example. Why Ghana doesn't need those technology, for example, genetically modified seeds. Why we don't need those seeds now? Because it's going to operate against the interest of majority of Ghanaians. So it's a, it's a very open and actually we've got official support for us to be able to do this campaign, to educate small farmers and, and Ghanaians in general. We've gone to, to the markets, we had demonstrations, so we, and we are preparing when I go back, we we'll have a civil society meeting, and we're we'll going to Parliament itself to, to put our petitions before Parliament.